this video, I'm going to introduce you to Autodesk Inventor. Start out by opening the program. If you go to your desktop, you should see an icon with an orange eye, and it's labeled Autodesk Inventor Professional. It may be here on your desktop or it may be down in your taskbar. Uh, right click and select Open. First thing I want to point out is this menu bar here along the top. It's called your Quick Access Toolbar, and it may be here along at the very top of the window. If you open up this menu and select Show Below the Ribbon, the Quick Access Toolbar is moved down here. And this is the per preferred location, so uh, move it from up here to down here. And if you pull down this menu, you could turn some of these commands on and off. And the content of the menu will change depending on what you're doing. If you're doing a drawing, uh, you'll have different commands here than if you're modeling a part. I'm going to start out by opening up a part, select Open. Go to your Documents folder and find this part, Video Inventor Essentials, and double click on it to open it. I'm going to show you how to reorient the part. Start up by, um, if you roll the scroll wheel on your mouse, you could zoom in and out. If you want to zoom into a particular location on your part, select a, a point on the part. I'm going to select this corner. And now if I, if I roll my scroll wheel, I'll zoom into that particular corner. So this is your scroll wheel. I'll move it, roll it to zoom in and out. If I hold down my scroll wheel and move my mouse left and right, I could pan. So you hold down your scroll wheel and move your mouse around and you'll be able to pan. This is panning. If I double click on the scroll wheel, it'll fit the part in the window. So that's uh, double clicking on the scroll wheel will zoom to fit. If I hold down the shift key and then press on the scroll wheel, it'll orbit the part. And if I point to a particular point on the part, like this corner, and then do the same, hold the Shift key and press the scroll wheel and move my mouse around, I'll orbit around that particular corner. So that's holding the Shift key, pressing down on the scroll button, and moving your mouse around. Holding the Shift key, pressing the scroll button, and moving your mouse allows you to orbit. If I want to look at a particular face head on, select the face, right mouse button, and select Look At, and I'll be looking straight at that face. This cube in the upper right hand corner is your view cube. You notice I'm going to press on this face here, it's highlighted in blue, and that is my front view. Notice like if I point to any of these little arrows on the side of the cube, it reorients it. Now I'm looking at my right view. If I point to an edge of the cube, it'll rotate it to a 45 degree view. If I point to a corner of the cube, it'll give me a view. It's called an isometric view. I'm going to go to my right view. Now, if I want to make this my front view, I can come to this menu here. It's called the context menu. And I could select 
this command, set current view as front. And now you notice that this is now my front view. I'm going to go back to my previous view, what is now the left view, and I'm going to go back to my context menu, set current view as front, because I want to make this my front view. This is the quick access toolbar I was talking about earlier. You want it positioned here, not at the top of the window, but here below your, below your ribbon. And uh, you want to put all the commands that you used most frequently, you want them here in the quick access toolbar. Say you were to use this command quite often, you could hover over the part and then select your right mouse button and select this, add to quick access toolbar. And now you notice that this command is here on my quick access toolbar. If you want to remove it, hover over the icon, right mouse button, and select remove from quick access toolbar. I've populated this bar with the tool, the commands that I use the most, and you may want to do the same. This, this area here is called your ribbon, and you notice you have several ribbons. Each one of these tabs is its own ribbon. And for the most part, you'll be using the 3D modeling tab. If you open Inventor and you can't see your ribbon, you can redisplay it by choosing this icon. If I select once, you notice that now my uh, ribbon menus are reduced to large icons. If I select it again, you notice that now the only thing that's visible are these, these tabs. If I select again, the only thing that's visible are these tabs here. And if I select this icon again, I go back to my preferred view with the ribbons visible. One other ribbon you'll use quite often is this view ribbon. Sometimes you might, you might accidentally turn off one of your menus, say for instance this one. It's very easy to turn it off. And uh, to turn it back on, come here to the user interface and you could uh, turn on your menus. I'm going to turn the browser menu back on. My browser is back on. But notice you could turn your view cube on and off here too. So if your view cube disappears, you kind of want to come to the user interface and turn on your cube here. The other menu you'll use quite often is this visual style. When you start up Inventor, it may be in this mode here, shaded. And you notice that uh, it's hard to see the facets of your part. For instance, this line is not visible. To make it visible, go into Shaded with Edges, select, select that visual style, and notice that now all my edges are shown. So that is the preferred view, Shaded with Edges. One other tab I want to introduce you to is this Get Started tab. Select Get Started, and choose this command, Learning Path. And notice that it takes you to a, a series of tutorials. And you start here and you walk through the different steps. But it's a good idea to do these tutorials. Once you've done them, you could return, select this X here, and you can go back to your part. Let me show you how to create a drawing. Come to this icon here, the little pull-down menu. Select Drawing. Select base and reposition your first view, place it about there. Notice that if I move my 
cursor slightly to the right, it's going to create another view. This is my side view. If I place my cursor above the first, right about there, it's creating a top view. If I position my cursor up here in the corner, it's creating what's called an isometric view. Let's select OK. And there is my drawing. If I want to reposition these views, I can uh, hover over one of the views. And you notice I get a dotted red line. And I could pull the view around by grabbing that red dotted line. If I want to reopen my menu, I can uh, double click on this view, the first view you created. And you notice you get a menu. One thing I want to do, uh, I want to turn shaded off here. Notice this icon here is called shaded. If I turn it off, select OK. Now, uh, I, the part is, not, is shown as a line drawing. It's no longer shaded. Generally, these views here, you do not want shaded. This pictorial view, you do want shaded. So you want your drawing to look like this. Once you're done, you want to save your file, save your drawing using this command here, save. Save it in your documents folder. Come up to, to this tab here, file, and select export. Select PDF and navigate to your documents folder. And you notice it says file type PDF file and save it. Note, make sure you know where you're saving it because you're going to go get that file uh, to submit it. Go ahead and hit save. And there's my PDF drawing. Go to Canvas and go to your assignments or go to your home, and you'll see the assignment that you, you're working on. In this case, it's uh, ID 0 0.2 Inventor Essentials. Go ahead and open up your assignment and select this icon, Submit Assignment, and select Choose File. I'm going to go to my Documents folder and find that drawing I just created. You could sort on date modified. And there's the drawing I just created. It's a PDF drawing. Select it. And select Submit Assignment. You'll see now that it tells you that you turned in your drawing in the time, date and time you turned it in. And if you want to uh, verify what it exactly it is you turned in. If you want to look at your drawing again, you can open it up here and download it and, and view your drawing.